Hey guys, so I know it's been a while uh, since I've posted a video, and the main reason for that, uh, well there's two main reasons. One, um, maybe you've already noticed, but I'm in a different um, setting right now, and I've actually just moved to a new house. Um, so this is my new studio space. Um, and the second reason for not a whole lot of updates is that I've been working really hard to get ready for the, the feature forestry tour, which actually starts next week. So, um, the main purpose of this video is I really, uh, I want to show you guys um, what my setup is going to be like during the tour. Because um, I, I got some cool things going on that I think you guys will think is cool too. And I've had some uh, some changes to things. So, um, yeah, I, w I won't talk a whole lot about the new room yet. Um, partly or mainly because I, I don't have it all set up yet, so, uh, yeah, so, so let's, uh, show you what's going on. Alright, so if I, I've, uh, attempted to sort of set up my space here, similar to how I'm going to have it set up on stage. Um, it's close, but not really, so, this is just an overview, I've got my pedal boards there, uh, the MIDI keyboard, uh, the harmonium is actually not going to be the, on my right side there. It's actually going to be opposite of the bells. Um, I do have a uh, decent amount of bell parts to play. So um, I'll just start uh, showing you what's going on. Of course, I'm sure you guys want to see this. Uh, the pedal board, um, most notably, the biggest changes are the overdrives. Um, I uh, I really wanted to try the, the Walrus audio pedals and... Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to have both these on my board. I was looking for, uh, I don't know, something maybe to replace a Tube Screamer. Um, so I threw both of these on just to try them out when I got them, and as it turns out, I really love them both. So, and they're both perfect for different parts for the Future Forestry deal. So, um, yeah, so that, that's the biggest change there. Um, let me think. So... So we've got some cool stuff going on. I'm going to have to be running the tracks from my laptop, and I'm not going to zoom in too much there because I don't want you to see the set list. But uh, I'm using MainStage to run the tracks and the click, and uh, also uh, for my keyboard parts, which that patch currently it's not set to do anything. Um, and so that stuff is running out of my Motu interface there on the left. Um, but also what's happening is that main stage is sending a MIDI clock signal to, uh, to the interface, and then the interface, uh, is coming out of here. There's my MIDI cable out of there, and it's actually going into my boomerang. Now, as I said before, I've been lucky to have Mike from Boomerang give me, um, some beta firmware that does MIDI sync so, um, that cable I just showed you is actually coming in here to the sidecar input, and then that signal is going out here to the input on the main unit. So, um, if I move to a track uh, here, so I just moved to a track that actually has a MIDI uh, clock signal, and you can see that the sync light starts blinking there with the tempo of the song. So, um, there's quite a few songs where I need to be looping and uh, be in sync with the song. So, that enables me to do that. And like I said, I'm really thankful to Mike for letting me letting me do that. Um, and actually, a byproduct that was really... Since I got this set up and working, it was super easy to, uh, to just do this. Um, I've got the output of the main unit of the boomerang going over into my timeline. So... Um, the cool thing about that is that um, the boomerang sends MIDI messages through, and so in main stage I can tell it to send a program change message on every patch change. And so what I've done is I've set it up so that whenever uh, I change a patch on main stage, which is controlled on my keyboard by the way, I can just uh, press these two buttons. I've assigned them to go forward and back in the set list. Um, it will automatically change patches on my timeline, change presets, so, um, 
it's just one less thing I have to think about. I just change the patch and my delay setting comes right up and I'm good to go. So, so that's one of the coolest things I've had to figure out so far. Um, I'll just be able to control it all from my keyboard and, um, and yeah. So, cool stuff. I hope, uh, I hope Mike has the, uh, the final firmware available soon, um, because I'm really excited about it and having a lot of fun with it. So, uh, yeah, so my keyboard will be to my right. Um, the bells will be to my left. I bought this kit just to, uh, to practice with. It's just a cheap, uh, pearl set. I got used um, and right now I have the harmonium here but actually it's going to be to my left on the other side of the bells facing the opposite direction uh, so there will be certain points where I'll have to do some uh, fancy switching around but that's that's how future forestry is so and since the last video I've gotten two new guitars which is crazy the first one is this uh, parts Telecaster, which at first I looked at it, I thought that's a really strange guitar, but the more I looked at it and played at it, played it, it's uh, super awesome. So, at first I was like, I don't want a Strat pickup, but um, then I started playing around with it and I realized this is still a three-way switch, um, and the way it works is that this weird knob down here is a blend knob, so on any setting I can blend in any amount of the Strat pickup that I want. Which is cool because I can do, uh, you know, have just the neck pickup and then have a little bit of the strat or all of the strat pickup in there. Or if I'm in the middle position here, um, I can actually have all three pickups on at the same time, which is an interesting sound. So, um, it's really cool. Uh, it's got antiquity pickups, the Seymour Duncans. Um, the neck is from the late 90s. It's got some cool, uh, cool wear on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's nice and beat up, and the body is, uh, I think it's a newer-ish body, but it's nice and beat up too, it's got some, some character. So, I'm really digging this guitar right now, and the latest addition is this Gretsch, uh, Country Classic Junior. So, I'm still not sure if I'm going to take this guy on tour or not, um, I'm gonna have to see, but um, so far I love it. It's a 2001, and um, I don't know if they make these anymore. I don't think they do, but I really like the smaller body. Um, and, I've, and I've said before, I've always wanted a guitar with a Bigsby, so so I'm really enjoying this one too. So I'm definitely bringing the Tele Deluxe um, and the Parts Tele. I'm not sure about this one. I don't know if I want three guitars on tour. So, oh, and then of course I'll be using the Chieftain. Uh, that'll be the main guy and I'll take my Clubman as a backup. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. I hope I can see some of you guys on the tour. Um, if you want to know where, uh, where we're playing, go to futureofforestry.com and check out the tour dates. It's, uh, this Upcoming tour uh, is West Coast, so California up to up to like the Seattle area, and uh, December will be all over, and we're still booking some of those dates. So, you know, it'll go over to Florida, up the East Coast, and all over there. So, yeah, come see us, and I'll have some more videos. I really, uh, oh, before I forget. I'm going to be posting a lot to my Twitter and my Instagram, so follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's just, well, both Twitter and Instagram is just Andy Othling is my username. So, follow me there if you want to see a bunch of stuff. Um, I'll be posting a lot, and I'll do my best to do some videos. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I apologize for the length of this video, but if you have any questions um, about any of this stuff, about main stage, which is awesome or uh, any of this stuff, just let me know. And hope to see you guys um, on this tour coming up. All right, bye.